Bernie Sanders is our only option. Well, again, this is Cliff McWilliams once again from Corporatist Nation. Remember, we really don't have a democracy. We have a corporatist nation as it currently stands. And uh, nowhere is that more evident than what we saw in Iowa uh, a couple of weeks ago. Still don't have final results there. And does anybody think that was really an accident? The experiences I've had as a candidate, uh, as well as just trying to participate in democratic forums, I understand that not everything is well in the Democratic Party establishment. And that's what we're running against this time. Not just the Republicans, we're running against a one-party system. It's the money party. The establishment of the Democratic Party is no different than the Republican Party and establishment. Obviously, the Republican Party has gone a little, little further than had ordinarily been the case. But when you talk about the Democratic Party establishment, do you really think that wealthy Democrats, in large part moderates, they have any real problem with those Trump trillion dollar tax cuts? I mean, really. So those people are not interested in having that policy change because it's benefiting dramatically from those policies. Whereas the average guy, oh, we're going to pay for that with cuts to Social, Social Security, cuts to Medicare, um, a whole host of things. Uh, nothing we're going to do about education. But what I'm looking at right now is what's going to happen in Nevada that I think is going to make Iowa pale in comparison. We have to have electronics in the loop when we're talking about counting votes these days, don't we? Really. So I saw a gentleman, I think it was uh, someone by the name of Mr. Morrison on CNN this morning. Not that I really trust CNN or MSNBC, MSNBC of course, with people who formerly were employed by Wall Street firms who are giving us their, quote, perspective on the news. Bottom line is, untested app with uh, using some kind of uh, uh, a vote tabulation device uh, at, you know, loaded onto iPads. And I think we have quite an opportunity here for what we call vote flipping. Now, having contested an election in uh, Florida myself uh, when I ran for U.S. House of Representatives uh, some years ago. Um, I know all about electronics and uh, or also previously was involved with Dennis Kucinich and, uh, and some other uh, people who uh, were interested in making sure the votes were counted. Remember what Stalin said. Stalin said it's not who votes, it's who counts the votes. And nowhere is that more apparent than what's going on right now to slow down uh, Senator Bernie Sanders. Uh, what we have going on here uh, with the electronics being involved in is, is just uh, horrendous. The gentleman who was going to be running, Mr. Morrison, was going to be uh, managing a caucus location. He said we should just throw out caucuses altogether. Um, and I'm tending to agree because what was meant to be a more pure form of democracy now has been keel-hauled by the establishment to try and obtain the result that they want to show in Nevada. Uh, again, trying to um, steal votes from Bernie Sanders uh, and to slow his momentum so that another billionaire can take on Donald Trump, perhaps with her as his sidekick, if you know what I mean, that's not going to fly. I know for a fact that I am not going to, knowing what I know and what's been done to me in the past by people such as Debbie Wasserman Schultz and that whole crew, uh, I am not going to be voting for the anointed, appointed one that they stick on us with bringing super delegates into the forum again when 
the people are being denied their just due and denied their voice. So let's hold the DNC and Tom Perez needs to go. He needs to go right now. Hold them accountable so that uh, before, and these votes, as I'm doing this right now, votes are being cast in Nevada in the so-called caucus. I guess you'd call it a hybrid caucus this time. But it's one thing to have a bunch of people in, in an auditorium and people are coming forward and standing with this, you know, for this candidate or standing for another, or you didn't have enough uh, people in your group for your candidate. Uh, then you're going to decide whether or not you want to join another candidate. This situation, they are going to be picking and choosing. And believe me, software can be rigged to do what, it, what, what the people who put it together wanted to do. And remember, this, this software in Nevada, it's, been, it's untested, and we don't know who developed it. I mean, does it get more democratic than that you've got to be kidding me why do you think uh what i'm doing i call corporatist nation the corporations and the oligarchs are controlling what little remains of a democracy i mean i choke when i say the word having experienced this myself you know if money talks and everything else walks then why even vote? And that's going to be my position uh, in November if, as well as many, plenty of other people I know, they're not going to stand for it again. And the fact that they're actually doing it in our face is just completely untenable. So I'll be back with some other topics to talk, talk to you about uh, and hopefully get you to think a little more about what you're going to do when you vote and how you're going to hold your election officials. Of course, remembering that the parties run the primaries, not your Department of State in your, in your state. And therein lies the problem. The parties, this is no different than the cigar smokers in the back room. It's just a different venue and... Uh, I use electronics instead of arm twisting to do this. It's right in our face, and we've got to stand up. I thank you for listening. Once again, this is Cliff McWilliams of Corporatist Nation, because that's what we got. Thanks so much. Bernie Sanders is our only option.